Yet another MLA has defected from the BC United Party as prominent politician Eleanor Sturko today announced she is joining the BC Conservatives in advance of the October provincial election. For more, let's bring in Rob Shaw at the BC Legislature. Rob, this seems like a big deal, like a big move. Tell us more about what's going on here. Yes, JC, this is an enormous blow to BC United Party. Sterko is a former RCMP officer, a leader in the LGBTQ community, and their top critic on big issues like decriminalization, safe supply, crime and safety, and mental health and addiction. She said today she no longer has confidence, BC United leader Kevin Falcon, and that the Conservatives are now the party with the momentum to take the centre right and defeat the NDP in the October election. Here she is. You know, we can only ignore the polls for so long, and you can still continue to ignore the polls. But what I cannot ignore is um, what I'm hearing from people everywhere I go in my constituency, outside my constituency, at every event. Uh, this has been happening for six months. I'm asking to do what I can to work together with BC Conservatives to make sure that we don't split the vote, to see what we can do to uh, get together to repair the damage by the incompetent NDP. Well, I think she's going to be able to be a great addition to our team. She's a hard fighter. She is very passionate. She cares a lot about, uh, about issues. And, you know, thank you so much for coming over and joining us. However, Sturko facing some tough questions today about how she can join a party she has in the past called out for homophobia and transphobia. The Conservatives opposed to trans women in competitive sports, gender neutral washrooms, and the SOGI curriculum and more. Sturko has been vocal about that in the past, calling one Conservative candidate disgusting for condoning people shouting at a nine-year-old girl in Kelowna about whether she was a biological female at a sporting event. Or this exchange with Conservative MLA Bruce Bannon, in which she demands an apology for Rustad calling homosexuality a lifestyle and Bandman says she's part of a hypersensitive woke far left cancel culture or this one here where an active conservative candidate in Vancouver Port Point Grey calls Sturko a woke lesbian social justice warrior. Sturko says that candidate has since apologized. I will never uh, abandon uh, the work that I've done for the LGBT community. I will never back away from defending uh, human rights in British Columbia. Um, you know, John knows this. We, we talked about it. And, you know, we, we also think that it's extremely important for us to continue to focus on the issues that are affecting British Columbians the most. This is the second defection in four days from BC United. Caucus Chair Lauren Dirksen crossed the floor Friday. Both cited United's inability to get a merger or cooperation deal with the Conservatives last month as their final straw. Falcon called Sturko's move a personal betrayal today as he recruited her for a by-election just two years ago. Uh, let's keep in mind that this is a party who has a candidate who actually said about Eleanor that she's a woke lesbian social justice warrior. You know, they've got a leader, John Rustad, who denies that climate change is real. He says it's a theory and it's not yet proven. I am just so shocked that that's the party in which she feels that she can find some alignment with her values and principles. The NDP is saying that Sturko has compromised everything she believed in just to keep her seat and in power, and now she'll be used by the Conservatives to essentially whitewash any more homophobia or transphobia from candidates or party positions. Falcon saying Sturko and Dirksen are rookie MLAs panicking at the polls. He still thinks he can turn this around, Stacey, but it is clear United day-to-day -day here is in even more trouble. We will see what happens next.